Hi, nature lovers. Welcome to What's in Bloom. I'm Miss Dorothy, teacher naturalist at New Jersey Audubon Sherman Hoffman Wildlife Sanctuary in Bernardsville. Being outside in nature is so very important. So join me as we walk the trails to see what's in bloom. I've been walking along the trails here at Sherman Hoffman and I found something in bloom. And it actually is blooms in the middle of March or to late March, even when there's snow on the ground. And it's actually called skunk cabbage. And the bloom is very unusual. It's actually an inflorescence, which means a cluster of flowers. And the flowers are inside this bract. They're very fleshy. They're on a spike. That's called a spadix, S-P-A-D-I-X. The flowers in there are surrounded by a bract. That's called a spade, S-P-A-T-H-E. All members of the family called the Eraceae, or aroids, have inflorescences like this, which actually mean a cluster of flowers. Similar would be the jack in the pulpit. So this plant, the skunk cabbage, is quite unusual. You notice that it's a little bit purple on the bract and inside when an insect or an early fly or bee gets inside, it, the flower, the inflorescence actually produces heat that warms the insect as he walks around inside and thus he is pollinating those fleshy flowers on the spadix. And you notice that the green structure out here, those are developing new leaves. They're going to unfurl and be quite large. The new leaves, um, actually when they're bruised, smell a little skunky. So that's how the plant got its name, uh, skunk cabbage. Um, it is a native plant to Eastern North America. And it's found, as you see right nearby, in wetlands. It's a wetland indicator. Amazing that by producing its own heat, it can actually uh, produce an odor wafting into the air that's going to attract those early pollinators.